When you um, consider the, the period that we've just come through, um, we've had some very high-profile blow-ups um, related uh, effectively to, uh, in one case, obviously, Archegos, which was largely about a family office that just got its bets wrong. Uh, and then we, we've obviously had a, a few other credit-related uh, events and high-profile bankruptcies. How do you view this through the pr prism of how hedge funds are operating in the space at the moment? Should we see this as the beginning of red lights flashing on the um, dashboard, or uh, does it represent isolated, idiosyncratic cases of businesses that just uh, were overextending themselves? Yeah, I, I think you know a number of the events, actually most of the events um, that we've uh, that have sort of shaken us a little bit this year, or certainly shaken um, uh, reporters uh, like GameStop, like uh, Archegos. Uh, these are very isolated. Um, uh, as you point out, uh, Archegos was a family office and not a hedge fund. Um, and um, uh, you know the, the full story will come out in, in due course. But it really seems that a very, very excessive amount of leverage was being used um, uh, by that family office. Um, uh, reports of somewhat eight to ten times. Um, now, while that might be normal for a, um, a very diversified, systematic um, uh, fund, for fundamental equity fund, that is very, very high, where um, leverage is normally in the um, uh, sort of two to three times level. So uh, I think very isolated. And I think you're seeing that with the, um, the performance numbers that we've seen uh, for the first quarter this year, and indeed also the early ones for the month of April, um, that actually hedge funds are doing extremely well uh, in these market conditions. So, yeah, very isolated. Um, I'm not worried about it, and I don't think there's any red lights to look at here. They're not, though, are they, Jack? They're not doing extremely well. They haven't had a really fantastic performance. And um, for my case for the, 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 the prosecution, uh, I would add from HFR, for instance, the performance in the first quarter based on weight of assets compared with actually uh, what they're reporting on an individual basis. On weight of assets, hedge funds in equities, for instance, put on 2.8% in the first quarter. Now, to my math, that is roughly half of what the S&P put on. That's not a great performance, is it? I think you're picking uh, picking numbers that suit your uh, suit your argument. No, it, um, would you disagree with me that in one of the largest areas where people place bets, i.e., equities, they have underperformed by fifty percent the performance of the S and P in that period? Would you disagree with well, that? Well. There, there, there are a number of, of providers of data, and plus also you must remember that actually a lot of funds don't report to these um, uh, these indices. Um, so I could point to another um, uh, a, 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 um, provider, which is, is Prequin, um, uh, and they show equity funds, if that's what we're looking at, um, up 9% um, for the first quarter. Um, now, let's remember, you were comparing it just with the S&P. Is, is, is that on an asset-weighted basis? What? Uh, that is that is on, on an asset weighted, weighted basis. basis, Jack? That is on an asset, asset weighted, weighted basis. basis. Yeah. Um, okay. So the, the, the trouble with these indices is that they're not a complete picture. But I would grant you that there is uh, quite a dispersion in returns. Um, and so there are some hedge funds who are not doing as well and other ones that are doing well. But let's not just compare it against the S&P. Look at what bonds have been doing. We've seen a huge Treasury sell-off um, uh, in the first quarter. So the Barclays Global Aggregate in, in, Index is down 4.5%. The MSCI world, uh, and let's face it, you know, the, the number we're looking at at hedge funds is, is performance globally. So I think it's fairer to look at it against um, global equities rather than just the S&P. The MSCI world was up 4.5%. So whichever way you look at it, I see that hedge funds have outperformed both equities uh, and certainly outperformed bonds. And I think what's, what's critical here, I think the big conversation that investors are having at the moment um, is about bonds, the bond sell-off, the threat of inflation, of higher interest rates ultimately. And the discussions that hedge fund managers are having uh, is from investors who are looking about what they might replace their bond holdings, not just their equity holdings, but their bond portfolios from.